This is a tracheostomy tube with the cuff inflated. When the cuff is inflated, air flows in through the tracheostomy tube and into the lungs, and then exhaled air flows back through the tracheostomy tube and out through the tube. When the cuff is inflated, little to no air can flow around the tracheostomy cuff and through the upper airway, and therefore the patient will be unable to produce voicing because airflow is required through the vocal cords in order to produce vocal fold vibration for voicing. To deflate the cuff, first take a 10 cc syringe and place it inside the pilot balloon. And we want to slowly deflate the cuff while suctioning the patient. If the patient has secretions, we might want to suction the patient before deflating the cuff or subglottic suctioning if that's available. So slowly deflate the cuff, taking maybe two cc's at a time, and then we might need to suction, have the patient rest for a few seconds, and slowly deflate the cuff until the cuff is fully deflated. Once the cuff is fully deflated, the patient will not only be able to breathe in and out through the tracheostomy tube, they will now be able to breathe through that upper airway as well. And airflow will take the path of least resistance. So some of the air will come up through the vocal cords to produce voice and possibly improve swallowing. And some of the air will still flow out through the trach tube.